Well, hello and welcome. In this presentation, we are going to look to solve problems associated with bearings using trigonometry. There are two types of problems we will be looking at during this presentation. The first type of problem. Say, for instance, I travel on a specific bearing for a certain distance and I may wish to calculate how far east or how far west, how far north or how far south of my original starting point I have traveled. It's a bit of a mouthful, but basically, say for instance, I travel on that sort of bearing here. Uh, that bearing would be something around 270 plus another 40, say, bearing of 310 degrees. Now, the question might ask, how far north am I of my original position? Or, how far west of my original position am I? And you can see there'll be right angle triangles and we, we will be working with those. Problem type two. Say, for instance, I travel a set distance north and a set distance south. So, right, I'll start here. I travel a set distance south, and then I travel a set distance east. The question might ask, what bearing from my starting position am I? In other words, what is this bearing here? They are the two types of problems we will be looking at in this presentation. So let's move to problem type one. Okay. Say for instance, I walk 50 kilometers on a bearing of zero, three, zero degrees true. My question might be how far north and east of my starting point am I? In other words, here, is the 30 degrees and I have traveled five kilometers along in that 030 direction and the question is basically asking how far north in other words I'll make a right angle triangle not quite a straight line and how far north have I traveled well what is that distance there and how far east? What is that distance there? I've tidied this up and made a much better right angle triangle. And you can see there's the 30 degrees. There is the five kilometers. And we're trying to work out this distance here, the distance north, and this distance here, the distance east. Now, the maths associated with that is just some straightforward trigonometry. To work out north, I would be using cosine of theta, and these are all the steps. You can just read your way through those. And if I'm looking at the easterly direction, these are the steps here through sine theta. So just pause the video for a second, have a look at the maths, make sure it all makes sense, and I will move on to problem type two. Okay, next problem type. I walk 20 kilometers south and then 50 kilometers west. How far am I from my starting position? In other words, I've gone down here and across here. Now I think I've got a little image here, which I can click on. So you notice here, I've gone down 20 kilometers to the south, then across 50 kilometers to the west. And the question's asking, how far am I from my starting position? In other words, if I wanted to go from here to here, the shortest distance, that distance there, how far is that? And what is the bearing? In other words, what is the bearing going all the way around to there? Again, I've looked to construct my right angle triangle. 
you can see here, 20 kilometers south, 50 kilometers towards the west. X is my unknown distance, and theta is the unknown angle that I will be using to help calculate my bearing. That's that angle that's in here. That's my theta. So again, just read the question. I walked so far south, 20 kilometers and 50 kilometers to the west. Right. And how far am I from my starting? So that's that distance there. So let's look at the maths that we would use to solve that problem. Now, the first part to work out this distance x. I could use trigonometry with the sine, the cos, the cosine, or the tangent, but I've chosen to use Pythagoras mainly because it's a um, nice change. And this distance here squared plus this distance here squared, in other words, the two short legs, adding those up will be the distance x squared. So doing the maths, x will equal 53.85 kilometers. And to working out the bearing, my bearing is all the way from, if that is my north, I can put that there, if that's my north, it's all the way around there. That is my true bearing, but I need to calculate this angle first. Now, to work out that angle, label the sides of my right angle triangle. There we go. Opposite. Adjacent. I know with it opposite and adjacent, I will use tan. Therefore, working my steps through here, my angle theta equals 68 degrees. So I know this angle here is 68 degrees. And I know the angle from here to there is 180. So my bearing, which is the angle all the way around there, will be this 180 plus this 68, which is that one there, which will give me a bearing of 248 degrees true. That's my true bearing. And if you happen to want to do a compass bearing, it would be south. And what's how many? So I'm south, and I also know that I'm west. And how many degrees west do I need to go? I need to go 68 degrees. So hopefully this presentation has given you a bit of an understanding of how to apply bearings to problems associated with trigonometry. So until next time, good maths.